Good afternoon. Questions? Um, Minister Buto made it sound like her conversations with you with U.S. officials are that U.S. officials are trying to plan with her and perhaps asked her to participate in a post Musharraf government. Is that what the administration is doing? That I have not heard. Of course, we have been in communication with um, both President Musharraf and his officials, as well as opposition party candidates and leaders. Uh, what we have been working for them to, to get them to do is to talk with one another, open up a dialogue, and communicate so that they can get Pakistan back on a path to uh, democracy. But I, I don't know about any individual conversations. But is there any planning, active planning, for how to support a, a post Musharraf government in Pakistan? Uh, the, the, the president, who is in the best position to know, what his policy is, is to support President Musharraf's getting back to a constitutional government. What are we going to do if he doesn't do it? Uh, we are focused on helping them get back there and to do it, and so that all the moderate forces can work together so that they can establish it. Many are also skeptical of his willingness to do anything that the President wants him to do. This is the, the responsibility for getting back on track is President Musharraf's, and I believe that he does have the Pakistanis' uh, best interests in mind. But you said, so you said the President is committed to helping President Musharraf get back on a path to democracy. Does that mean that the President is committed to Musharraf as the leader of Pakistan? No Pakistan what? is going to have to work that out uh, in terms of they, if they, they can get back on the path to democracy and have the free and fair elections for the parliament, uh, then that will be a, a significant step and one that President Musharraf has said he's committed to. Is sticking with Pakistan, is, does that mean sticking with Musharraf? The Pakistanis are going to have to decide on their leadership. The President believes um, President Musharraf has been a very good ally to the United States and our allies in helping combat extremism and that he was on a path to democracy. And there are other moderate forces in Pakistan that want the same thing, and that would be a better future for Pakistan. The IAEA's report mm -hmm. on Iran's nuclear program shows partial cooperation with, with uh, international inspectors. How will this impact the U.S. push for further sanctions against Iran? We believe that selective cooperation is not good enough. Uh, we appreciate the work of the IAEA and the Director General. Uh, while the report primarily looks at the history of the Iranian activity for the, a nuclear program, it does say, and let me quote, contrary to the decisions of the Security Council, Iran has not suspended its enrichment-related activities. Uh, this report indicates that Iran continues to defy the international community and two unanimous UN Security Council resolutions, uh, 1737 and 1747. Iran continues to walk away from a deal that has been offered to them. Uh, we've said they can have a civil uh, nuclear program if they'll just suspend their current activity. They have chosen not to, and unfortunately, this report makes clear that Iran seems uninterested in working with the rest of the world, and the current Iranian government continues to push Iran deeper into isolation. The United States is going to continue to work with our partners um, on the UN Security Council, the Perm, Perm 5 plus Germany, on a third set of Security Council sanctions. On the Iran report, mm -hmm. um, the United States has been pushing for some time for, uh, to consider new sanctions on, on, on Iran at the UN. Does this accelerate that process? What are the next diplomatic, formal diplomatic steps that you see as a result of the report? Well, as you know, we've been working with our um, allies, and the President had meetings last week with the President of France and uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, in which we talked about the uh, shared objective to ensure that Iran does not have the capability to have a nuclear weapon, and that we would work together to uh, on, a new, on a new resolution. And actually, um, the UK's uh, Gordon Brown made a similar statement <coughs> earlier this week, and so we are continuing to work on that. Look, the, uh, we believe that Iran should be fully cooperating. Uh, and not stringing along the IAEA uh, during this process. Uh, it just pushes Iran further into isolation. And we believe that what they should do is take us up on our offer. We've continued to offer negotiations for Iran so that we can have a diplomatic solution. Uh, that is two basic things, suspension of enrichment for suspension of uh, sanctions, as well as a negotiated settlement that would give Iran access to nuclear energy while assuring that the uh, that its intent is peaceful, and Russia has come forward with an innovative way to be able to do that. We're going to continue to work with all of our partners in the P5 plus one, and we will try to move forward on a new uh, resolution. Will um, if White House employees and Justice Department people be allowed to uh, contribute to the Alberto Gonzalez Legal Defense Fund? I don't know specifically about that one, but I know in general you're allowed in your personal capacity to contribute to any cause that you want to contribute to, whether or not you're a federal employee or private citizen.